just passing on the street Are you ready for peace? Ships are filling up fast Are you ready? Good morning guys Today is Sunday the 19th of April and I have so many butterflies in my tummy right now. Liv has been taking pregnancy tests for the last couple of days. We decided we would test out the Pregnal injection. The last injection she had was on Wednesday and it was 1500 units. So it should stay in her system for three to four days. So today is the fourth day since that injection. And the first pregnancy test Liv took was six days past five day transfer, which was on Friday. She took a pregnancy test brand that I had never heard of before. Uh, it wasn't first response. And and the test came back negative which surprised us because it had only been two days post the pregnal injection and it should definitely still have been in her system. When she went to throw out that test she did see a faint line so she took another test that afternoon and the line showed a lot quicker than previously. Then the next day at seven days past five day transfer she took a first response and there was a very clear line. So I guess today will be the real indicator as to whether or not our little embryo has implanted we are hoping to see a darker line today <sighs> I am feeling very hopeful I feel good about it all uh, Liv feels good about it all we all feel good about it all so we're just hoping hoping that our little one has stayed with us tomorrow she will be nine days past five day transfer so four weeks pregnant if she is um, so I'm really hoping to see a good line today. All right, let's just go test. I can try if you let me with our lives. I am pleading. Who am I without stories that aren't mine? What I did to achieve you gave me air that I had to. I'm untrue, it's not pretty, the truth hurts. <sighs> What's it going to tell us? It's going to tell us if it wants to stay or stop. I think it's going to stay. I think it stayed too. Okay. What do you think? I think it has. Can we see now? Zadie has been. Where's the timer? Zadie. Two minutes. Zadie has been naughty and yeah, it's a bit of a mixed bag, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> so stressful. It's very stressful. Hey, is that a paintbrush? It's kind of like a paintbrush. I think I just touched it. You didn't touch it. <laughs> we just touched it. No, you're fine. I don't touch it. I'm nervous. I know. <sighs> I'm nervous because I want it to stay. Oh, Maybe I need to see the number nine. How many lines are there? One. Mommy, is the baby still in your tummy? I don't know. That's what the test is meant to say. Oh. Oh, I think oh I God. There's supposed to be two lines. There are Not supposed to be two lines. Do, do another wing inside the cup. We have to check. There's a faint line. There's a faint line. It hasn't been three minutes yet. No, Mommy. Oh, really? The line! Is it gonna stay, mm -hmm. Mom? I don't know! I don't know! It's a faint line, but it's fainter than yesterday. I don't know. It's not gonna stay. I don't know. I, I you. think it's not gonna stay. You think it's not gonna stay now? Well, I hope it I does stay. Gonna... I think it's gonna stay. We wanted yeah. to see a big, strong line. I know. But that's alright. Is it not? We don't know yet, Baba. There's a little line. I'm really sorry to let you know that has come back as a negative today. Um, so the HCG has come back as three. So anything under five is considered a negative. This is not the video I wanted to make. It's not the news I wanted to give. Since filming that footage you just saw, it's been a week. Of emotions. Today is Friday the 24th of April. 
As you saw, the second line was lighter. Then seven days past five day transfer. This was seven days past five day transfer. Eight days past was lighter. So again, likely the pregnal. Liv did another test that afternoon, which was darker. After taking that test on Sunday morning, I just felt hope fading. I just knew at that point the second line should have been darker and I know every pregnancy is different but our embryo was hatching, it was ready to implant. Monday she would have been four weeks. Um, she tested on Monday morning, it was very faint. Pretty much lost all hope. I knew it was over. And then on the Tuesday there was a stronger line than Monday but still super faint and that's when I realised it's probably a chemical pregnancy. And then 11 days passed was totally negative. On the morning of the beta blood test, live cycle started so we knew it was over before even getting the blood results. I'm just so over it. I'm over feeling like this. I'm over the failures. I'm over all of the constant hurdles. Part of me feels stupid for being so hopeful. But you've got to be. Hope is the one thing that keeps you going on this journey. It appeared as though all the stars had aligned. We did everything right. This embryo was a perfect grade, perfect lining, it thawed perfectly, it was hatching. 99% of the cells survived thaw, which is fantastic. Having to be faced with the possible reality that this may never happen for us. Yeah. A lot to process, a lot to think about, a lot to deal with. We just don't have answers yet again. We don't know why. Our embryo just didn't take. It's just one of those things. It's just hard to have to feel like this after every attempt. Every time we feel hopeful, we just get knocked down. It just feels never ending. It feels like we are never going to make it. We're never going to get that rainbow. All I've wanted to be was a mother. That's all I've ever wanted. It just feels like that dream is slipping further away and I just hope we are getting closer with each attempt. I mean, it makes logical sense one of these days. Surely it's going to work, but it may not. All we've got to do is keep trying. We're just feeling broken at the moment, really defeated. We've gone down this road of surrogacy and now we've transferred a perfect embryo and it hasn't worked. I'm terrified that the remaining three won't work and all of the surrogacy, the time, the money, the emotions will have all been for nothing. I mean you don't know until you try, you don't know what you don't know. Tim and I had some very real and hard discussions on Monday and he's not sure how much more of this he can take, which I totally get. I'm not sure how much I can take either. I just know I'm not ready or at a point to imagine my life without becoming a mother. I just... I can't do it. I don't know if I can. I don't know... So many people are faced with that reality and they... I just... I just don't think I'm strong enough. And then I feel like we've come this far. And then it'll have all been for nothing. But we also have to treasure our relationship and honour and respect how each other are feeling. So I get where he's coming from. I just, I'm not at a place, and I don't know if I ever will be, at a place where I'll be able to come to peace with knowing I'll never be a mother. It's just the one thing I've always known I've wanted. Yeah. There's been some hard conversations over the last few days and a lot of processing. This journey to having a baby has been far from easy and nothing like we ever could have even imagined it would be. Never. 
anyway, thank you so much for all of the prayers, the messages. I know so many of you were really wanting this for us, genuinely wanting it too. We're so blessed to have so many beautiful people around the world cheering us on and encouraging us and supporting us. Um, so thank you for that. Thank you for your big hearts. I hope one day we can share good news with you. We are hoping to try again with a transfer soon. After this weekend, the IVF clinics are reopening. That's wonderful news for so many couples, um, especially couples who don't have time on their side. I don't think there'll be much of a delay until we are able to try again. In the meantime, we will be getting our heads in a good place again and give it everything we've got. We have one more PGS tested, perfectly graded embryo left. The other two that we have frozen are untested. We have a phone appointment with our specialist not until the 5th of May. So I guess we'll see what she suggests. I'm sure she'll say it was bad luck. Even though it was likely a problem with the embryo, I'm thinking maybe doing an ERA test for Liv. Try and gauge when her uterus is most receptive to welcoming an embryo. I'm sorry to be sharing <sighs> disappointing news. It's just the nature of this channel, it appears. It's always bad news. But anyway, grateful to have been given the chance to do a transfer and grateful to have embryos to transfer and grateful that there still is hope. I just don't know how hopeful I feel in this moment. We are so incredibly thankful for Liv. She gave our little embryo a chance and she's amazing. I just wish it hadn't been so hard on her with the symptoms and the not knowing but she is a true angel and we are blessed to have her and her husband in our lives. Nothing's guaranteed, we knew that it wasn't guaranteed but we did feel very positive and very hopeful and so it's been a bit of a shock and I guess it's just constant failures, it's all we know. I'm just hoping one of these days things will go right. I'm going to make myself a hot chocolate with 500 marshmallows and a few chocolate bars on the side. Take care of yourselves and stay safe. Love you all. I'm there soon. I'm leaving quite early tomorrow morning. Undercover baby is what you ask of me Soon I'll be disguised Shooting star I'm without a safety net